Okay, this is more stats for geeks. We're looking at the least squares regression, regression line. And uh, we discovered last time that our least squares regression line must go through the point x bar, y bar, right? And so uh, what this means is that our y-intercept is the point y bar minus m x bar. And it also means that uh, plugging this into our original equation, that y hat equals m times x minus x bar plus y bar, okay? So we can get rid of this and say, we're just going to start from this equation now, okay? Also remember, the whole point of this exercise is to find the line that has the least squared residuals from our, uh, from our data set, okay? That is to say, yi minus y hat i squared summed up for all of the, all of the xy pairs is going to be our smallest squared sum possible. Squ smallest sum of squares possible, okay? So, uh, let's, uh, let's define exactly what this is going to look like. It's going to be the sum as i goes from 1 to n uh, of uh, y i minus, let's go ahead and plug that in, m times x minus x hat, that's x i minus x hat, uh, minus y hat squared, okay? This was m times x i minus x, uh, x bar, I'm sorry, plus y bar, but when you're, su when you're subtracting it, the subtraction gets distri distributed that way. So, uh, let me kind of move things around a little bit. Let's say that this is going to be, uh, as i goes from 1 to n, uh, y i minus y bar minus m times x i minus x bar squared. Okay, that looks a little more uh, more symmetrical there. And uh, well, shoot, let's just go ahead and uh, multiply that out. It's going to be i equals one. I goes from one to n of y i minus y bar squared minus 2m y i minus y bar x i minus x bar. That's the middle term when I expand this. And then the last term is going to be plus m squared times x i minus x bar squared. Okay. Woo! Okay, that's 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 pretty messy looking. All right, now let's stop for a second and think. We've already got our y-intercept defined. All we're looking for is the slope now that minimizes the sum of squares. So really, what I can think of this as is a a, a function of m and. Uh, now, when I think of it that way, let me kind of turn things around a little bit and let me split apart this sum because remember how we split apart the sum last time? Uh, this is just going to be m squared times the sum of my xi minus x bars, that's that term, minus 2m times the sum of yi minus y bar times x i minus x bar plus this thing plus the sum of y i minus y bar squared and you might be able to see where I'm going already this is a quadratic function where our variable is m and just like last time we can find the minimum of this function because we know what the minimum looks like it's a parabola, and the vertex is going to be the minimum, and the vertex is going to be negative middle coefficient over two times first coefficient. Ow, first coefficient. Man, that hurt. Uh, statistics can be a painful, painful process sometimes. Okay, so uh, that means at the minimum, m is going to be 
negative this thing. So negative negative 2 times the sum of yi minus y hats uh, times xi minus x oops minus x hat. Okay, so that's my middle term over 2 times first term, which is the sum of xi minus x bar. Sometimes I'm saying hat when I mean bar. I apologize for that. Uh, squared. Fortunately, I think I'm writing it uh, consistently, so go by what I write, not what I say. All right. Um, okay, first off, those cancel out. The twos cancel out. And there's my slope. That's not so bad, okay? It's the sum of the distance from uh, y to the, the, the mean of y times the distance from x to the mean of x over the sum of the distance from x to the mean of x squared for all the x's. Okay, so that's what our, uh, that's what our slope is going to be, okay? Putting this back into uh, AP stats terminology, this is going to be y hat equals b naught plus b1 times x, where b1, we just decided, is the sum of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar as i goes from 1 to n over uh, the sum as i goes from 1 to n of xi minus x bar squared. Uh, and that b naught equals uh, y bar minus b1 times x bar. Okay. For AP stats purposes, you don't need to know this, but you sure do need to know that, okay? Now, there's one more thing that I want to point out, and that is this. Uh, let's, let's remember that our variance of x, the variance, not the standard deviation, but the variance, that's the standard deviation squared, is 1 over n minus 1 times that. And you'll notice that that looks a little bit like, uh, like our denominator. So another way of describing the denominator would be that b1 is the sum, from, as i goes from 1 to n, of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar over n minus 1 times the variance of x. Matter of fact, let's define it like that for a little while, okay? Uh, 